what is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to tech Karan youtube channel and we have installed something interesting here iq's monster ui the latest iq's monster ui which is powered by fun touch os as you can see this is a gsi which i have installed right now on my redmi note 8 and you can install this gsi on any of your project treble supported device if you have a device which is treble supported you can use this GSI on your device but this GSI is not for daily use as expected some bugs are there not good for daily use in the terms of performance and a lot more things as you just saw that it has a lot of lags but this is just for testing purpose as right now GSI is only for testing purpose to check out some new OS on your device which are not supported officially or unofficially that is why these kind of things are available if you want to test these kind of OS on your device I'll provide you the review in this video alongside with the installation that which are the things you needed and how to install this build on your device as a GSA. Now make sure to watch this video till the end. Now let's get started. Okay guys, first of all, we're gonna start out with the home screen and the default apps which are available as a pre-installed apps in this GSI as this is also IQ which is a type of a monster UI a Vivo Fun Touch OS powered by as you can see. So it has all the Vivo apps pre-installed like the weather and Vivo's app store calendar iTheme which was expected too. We have the clock settings, contacts and i manager which is actually the Vivo manager option. We have the Vivo cloud cloud easy share and these kind of things pre-installed and this kind of very good looking widget at the home screen and this search widget which is not actually the google search bar which is kind of a chinese assistant their chinese assistant we have this kind of swipe down swipe right gesture where you can see this kind of ui which have the cards and some information which is in chinese as expected so this is not for our meant to use so these kind of things are pre-installed now let's make a look some other things if you want to access the quick settings here how you can access you have to swipe up from the left side left navigation bar here you can see these kind of options and if you have saw them these kind of things these are available in the vivo fun touch os and yes i as i already told you this is iq's monster ui which is actually powered by vivo's fun touch os we have this sound equalizer here we have this brightness option and all the main tiles which are available like wi-fi mobile data vibration mode as kept is kind of I think screenshot like a tweak I am not sure about that I have not used these kind of things for that much time when you click here you can see your shortcut center option available here which is in Chinese of no need at all and when you click here you can I think customize your shortcuts like these kind of things and these kind of things you can see here which is not good for you to use so I will recommend you not to use this period for daily use but yes if you want to try it this period like this me as I have installed for some time and for just for testing purpose for just enjoyment purpose you can go and install this now as in this build we don't have anything to talk about because it does not have pre-installed apps or some things like that so let's take a look at some features which are present in this vivo's fun touch os which is kind of a iq monster ui they just renamed this to monster ui instead of vivo's fun touch os when i go to my device i can see this is iq's monster ui version which i can go and check it out which is based on android version 10 so this is kind of new thing this is kind of great thing that it's based on android version 10 and if you talk about the more parameters let me tell you as you can see it's little bit of laggy it's not little bit of laggy it's very much of lags so i don't expect you can use this build for your daily driver at all we have this iq's monster ui but still as i already told you i am not showing i'm not forcing anyone to install this build i'm not forcing anyone to uninstall this build or not install it all depends upon you I'll show the installation process here. I'll give you the installation instructions on my website also. You can go and check it out. It has a security patch of March 2020 so that it is not bad also. We have these kind of things available here. Other things, let me tell you some other things. We have the Wi-Fi, mobile data, other connection and networks. Maybe some bugs are there like the portable hotspot will not work. I'm not sure but maybe yes, maybe not, maybe work, maybe not work. We have the status bar customizations which include the manage notifications, top preview style, app icon tag and some little bit of extra features which include the battery percentage 
inside the battery icon as I already have enabled it and these kind of things are perfectly fine here. Vivo's Fun Touch OS has some great customization features and settings as a default settings but it has a lot of blotware as expected. There's an auto lock option and we have the global dark mode which is present in all Android 10 based rooms still now, all Android 10 based OEMs. We have other things, home screen, lock screen and wallpaper. If you saw my Funtouch OS review, you can go and check it out. These settings are just same like that. Nothing changed, nothing different. All the Chinese apps are available. Just a rebranded Funtouch OS with IQ's Monster UI as I just installed it. And I got to note that this is just a Funtouch OS redesigned in IQ's Monster UI. We have the dynamic effects option available. Some features are very cool, but unfortunately these features will not work for as a GSI because this is a GSI we have to wait approximately for one year or one and a half year maybe then we'll get some stable GSIs I'm not sure but still might be we get there let me talk about some bugs which bugs might you also might get but it's not sure because bugs depend upon vendor most of the times and sound and vibration if I choose any ringtone or whatever else this is a bug we cannot use ringtone there's no sound at all I have enabled the incoming call ringtone and like this anything is not working i have applied nothing is working no system sound not at all these kind of things are not working so this is a bug for me let me show you one more bug we have the fingerprint and face lock these both things are bug these both things are not working i have tried to enable them but nothing much not a good luck so these kind of things are available here some other things include like chinese and system navigation system management and some things like that you can try it out if you want to these were the things i just wanted to share with you so i hope you like this now let's take a look at the installation process what you need to do is first of all you need to install some files i'll provide the link in the description for all the files which might required i have used these kind of things what you need is you need this iq ui 10 gsi and you need to extract this and what you will get here you get this img file you get patch.zip you get the system.zip the same like other the installation was realme ui it is just like same now what you have to do is just boot into custom recovery once Okay guys, so after booting into custom recovery, in my case, I'm using Orange Fox custom recovery. What you have to do is go to wipe section, Dalvi, catch, system, vendor, data, all these five partitions you have to select and swipe to wipe. It will take some time to wipe all these partitions. So just wait, be patient and everything is done. What we have to do right now is select a ROM file. Let me tell you, you need to install a ROM file, which might be Android 10 and MIUI 12. If you have MIUI 12, it's quite good. If you are Redmi Note 8 user, you can follow the exact steps which I am doing and if you're user of any other device you might need to install Android 10 based or Xiaomi EU based or any Android 10 based room which maybe it's good if you use the um, new i12 just simply swipe to install as we need vendor for that so I have choose this new i12 vendor for my this GSI to boot on my device you can use any other vendor also now guys after the installation is finished for your ROM what you have to do is you have to install that GSI IMG file which is this IQ UI10.IMG just select the system image swipe to install image it's a system image so you need vendor image for that that's why we have installed that MIUI 12 Android 10 based ROM for my device for your device you can use any other build also if you have MIUI 12 which is based on Android version 10 it's quite great just use that build install that then follow all my steps which I am doing right now we need to install the system image we need to install the patch image and simply format data and re boot i'll show you these kind of steps so just wait for the installation to finish so guys as you can see the image is flashed successfully now what we have to do is first of all go here go to the menu option you have to select the mount option and here you have to select the vendor image you have to select the vendor partition here which means you have to mount that now we click on patch question mark dot zip click on swipe to install it will start installing and everything is done now what we have to do is go here menu go to the manage partition select data format data and now we have to choose yes click on ok everything is just done now what we need to do is simply reboot your device and you will be booted into this gsi 
So guys, after the installation is finished, you will see this IQ boot animation there. It's quite easy to install this CSA on your device. So these were the things I just wanted to share with you. I hope you got to know. I hope you understood. And this was all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Have a nice day.